In just over five weeks' time, Glasgow will be hosting the global climate conference known as COP26, and one of its goals will be to persuade industrialised nations to phase out their dependence on coal. China has now promised to stop funding coal-fired power projects abroad, uh, but many economies around the world are still dependent on it. Uh, India, for example, is still building new coal-fired facilities. So how do developing nations satisfy their demand for energy while trying to curb emissions? Our correspondent, Rajini Vaijanathan, reports from the East Indian state of Odisha. India's coal belt helps power this vast nation. More than two-thirds of the country's energy production still depends on it. Such is the demand that the country's planning on building or expanding dozens of mines in the coming years and also continues to import coal. There's pressure on India to reduce its emissions, but cutting coal use is a tricky balance. A major pollutant in the country, the dirtiest of fuels, coal is also a major source of jobs in these communities, which are some of India's poorest. India cannot live without coal. Our country is a developing country. Coal is one of the major resources for Indians. If we stop the coal production under the pressure of the world community, then how can we maintain our livelihood? And how can India meet the energy needs of a population of more than 1.3 billion? A growing middle class is driving that demand, although the average Indian still uses far less energy than the average Brit or American. India is already shifting to cleaner sources like solar. Experts say the country needs more investment to make the switch to renewables. India has already set out some of the most aggressive renewable energy uh, and uh, targets in the world. The more rapidly we can get more investment, more capital, more money into solar, wind, bioenergy and so forth, the quicker we can keep shifting away from the older energy infrastructure. But making that shift means reaching communities like these where the oldest and most basic forms of energy are the only option. Jamuna is one of the tens of millions of Indians who still don't have access to power. There's no electricity, there's no water. If we don't have coal, we can't cook. If it's harmful, what can we do about it, she tells me. We have no other option. At night, we burn coal and keep it in the house so we also have some light. What people here want so badly is what so many in the West have long taken for granted. In India, progress comes at a price. It means cutting the cord with coal could take time. Regini Vaidyanathan, BBC News, Orissa.